All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. Two weeks, approximately two weeks with this device, and it has been an experience. Uh, there is a lot to learn about this device in such little time because I'm really thinking that Sony's definitely getting ready to drop something new. This is the Sony Xperia Pro I, and it is the one-inch sensor on this device that people go crazy for. Uh, this is definitely replacing several cameras on the market. Like the the, the thing though, this costs eighteen hundred bucks when it's not on sale. So I I would think by now Sony would have slashed this indefinitely. This is this device is almost a year and a half, two years old, uh, but it's eighteen hundred at launch and it frequently goes on sale for ten ninety nine. And the last video I posted, I used the the vlogging setup, and I'll show you that in this video. Um, I use that vlogging setup to show you, you know, how much potential this device has and how you could take advantage of these this camera back here. This is such a beautiful piece of hardware. It, it when you touch this, it kind of feels like you're holding a Sony camera. Because uh, pretty much what this is is this is a camera with phone capabilities, and unfortunately, the phone side of this. Eh, I mean, as far as phone, I mean like connectivity, like phone calls and the network wise, I'll say that because I've already stressed that in another video, the network on this device isn't the best, like the signal for Wi-Fi and cellular, but when it is working, which is like 99% of the time, it's fantastic. It's, but when, sometimes when I'm out or I'm in the house, I just lose service or I lose Wi-Fi, but nonetheless, this phone, if you're buying this, you're, you, you're buying this more than likely because you don't want to carry around uh, a, a bigger camera from Sony or just uh, you, you want to you want to carry around something that you can actually get a lot of use of, out of it uh, and be a little bit more versatile and that's where phones like this come in or devices like this come in so this aspect ratio is 21 by 9 which I actually I, I love it and if I could get a, 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 a phone like this to be 21 by 9 I'd, I'd love it even more uh, Sony has definitely mastered the art of this style and I think it's nice for cinematic content as well for viewing so a couple of weeks in there's things to love about this device and there's only a few things to dislike and I've already gone over that but the headphone jack remains for a good reason you have an SD card slot still which I like uh, but I do wish that they would ditch this sim tray because it is just not a good look. A traditional style SIM tray with a pin would be better. I feel like every time I put my SIM card in there or remove my SIM card, I'm going to break that and then I'm stuck like Chuck. That happened on one of my older SIM, uh, Sony devices and the device can be used after just finagle with it to get the tray out. But nonetheless, it is there. Now, this device does have stereo speakers, which you, you can't really see the stereo speakers, but you can definitely hear them. There's one slot down there and up here on the top and wow, it is it is absolutely great, man. Software wise, I mean, you're winning because it's pretty much stock Android. Now you do have some physical buttons here, one for video, that smaller one will launch your video app. And then the bigger one obviously is for your camera, which is a two stage. So you can film, you can hit it, focus and go. Now, the again, the main part of this is going to be this camera. People are going to talk about this camera uh, and that is going to be where you live if you're getting this phone now you can you can pretty much leave this in basic mode all you want uh, but you do have different modes here that you can use to, because this is technically basically a sony mirrorless camera in your pocket or a sony dslr in your pocket now, it's weird saying sony dslr but you can pretty much just do everything that you can figure out on your higher end cameras here on this device because Sony has taken all that and put it into this. Now, if I go into the video pro mode here, uh, well, this is definitely more reminiscent of your, your, your cameras, like a regular Sony camera. And I think this is a huge plus you have, you have access to everything. So like your little display, you remember on your camera, you can decide what you want. Yeah really nice so you've got stereo microphones for recording everything is there you just need to learn your device that's all you need to do and to do so you come right over here to your lenses you've got a 50 millimeter a 16 millimeter and a uh, 24 millimeter which is your standard which I, I think is more than enough you can shoot at 120 frames per second folks so you can get at that you've got two f stops at two and four and you just need to get in there and play with your device, man. And obviously you have your manual focus right here so you can determine how you want to, to do that. But folks, 
two, two weeks in with this has been been great. Now, I did show you a video about this vlogging setup right here. Now, so this comes, here is the actual uh, tripod. Now, you don't have to buy all these different separate things. The tripod, at least, you definitely don't have to buy the tripod, but it just helps to control the the your when you're doing things with the camera so you don't have to keep taking your hands off and touching and moving around. So, you can take photos, you can control the movie with it, you can do everything you've got c log there so you can you can adjust this any way you want this is when i shot the video in here last time with this this is what i was using and it adjusts now this is how this comes now if you decide to ball all the way out and buy this vlogging monitor this is where the fun begins because you you really can do a whole bunch with this it, it's, it's it definitely works with specific with this phone and also works with some other devices as well as you can see it's magnetic and this is what you get when you buy the vlogging monitor setup. Now you can get this for free if you buy it through Best Buy with the link below. Um, and it's because this is normally 200 right here. This this vlogging monitor is about 200 bucks. And most of the time you can find a promo on this, but the give, Best Buy giving this away free with the, that's a steal folks. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a phenomenal deal because you don't have to buy this to use this because you have the standard setup here for tripods. So you can use your favorite tripod, you even have your hot shoe for your microphone or whatever, but you can, and definitely you can put a Sony hot shoe mic up there and it's gonna work flawlessly for you, but you can buy this right here all together for 1099. And I think that's a great deal uh, if you're gonna be into to vlogging. And, and the way you set this up, obviously you put your phone in, This is how this is going to look. Now I typically have it in between that area right there, making sure that I don't cover the video button. And then I push the monitor back like this. And then you just connect this input right here. And then you connect this like that. And that is how this looks when you're vlogging with it. And you get a full blown monitor there. So. Let me go ahead and show you here. And it's already letting me know that it's connected. So let's turn it on. And there you go. So that is what it looks like. You can see now this isn't a touch screen or anything like that, but it in fact is um, a monitor where you can see things on here. So you can see your battery, your standby, the length of your video, uh, and you can see you. There I am. Uh, and then you can see your microphone gains right there. So when you flip it over though, this is what it looks like here. You get all these controls like this. You are in full control of this camera and the setup here for your vlog on this side. And then when you flip it around and you start to vlog, then you get into, hey, what's up folks? It's your man, Jay, bop, 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 bop. It's really nice. It's really nice. So if you decide to go this route, Folks, I think this is probably one of the best setups that has come about for a cell phone, or I, sh I hate to call this a cell phone. I think this is more of a camera with phone capabilities, and I just have to keep reiterating that because you get all the capabilities of, a, of, your, of your mirrorless camera, and I have several Sony mirrorless cameras, and this is how they look. You know, the setup in here is it's like this. This is the setup. This is what it looks like. So you get the same type of controls and everything. They're just there. Yeah, they're just there. So and, and that way you'll be used to the uh, Sony setup already. You're going to be used to using this device. So to me, this is kind of like that ultimate vlogging setup that a lot of people just won't pull the trigger on or haven't heard of it. When it comes to the phone capabilities, like I said, this is a stock Android device and everything about this is actually really good. It's just, I only, I've only had troubles with the signal strength and that's pretty much it. Other than that, this is a top notch setup right here. The price is kind of iffy uh, because this does have the internals of a phone from 2021. And so what I'm looking for Sony to do is really come hard. Um, they, they've got to really bring it uh, when it comes to what's next for this setup. They're gonna have to really come with some thunder with the next version of this and not just do the updated internals. I mean, we, we need a bigger battery. There's different things that'll make this device great. And then also lower the price. 
<clears throat> this all doesn't come together. But if this all came together for fifteen ninety nine, people would flock to this like crazy. This is the ultimate vlogging setup or just the ultimate camera setup. So it's up to you to determine what you think is great or what is a great camera. But I think this camera, this camera on this device has proven itself. I've shot so much video with this on the channel. You guys didn't even know it was coming from this until I said it. And you guys said, whoa, that's phenomenal. So two weeks in with this thing, I can fully use it as a camera on the channel like I've been doing and I could have chosen any phone to record with or my actual mirrorless camera but I just do the iPhone up there since the mic was already connected but I can record quality content I have a lot of devices that I record with quality content and these are some of my these are the ones I'm current, currently this is the S23 plus and the S23 ultra these obviously shoot really good video uh, but this is and and the pro modes are different like all those those ones I showed you have pro modes, but this is like a full on just camera. So there's no need for like a pro button, I would say, because you have the video pro applications already there. You even have a cinematic uh, pro video app as well. And, you know, I just really enjoy shooting with this phone. It's become great. Now, I did have one issue other than the signal. And before I get out of here, I got that dreaded overheating thing. Now, I was talking to someone a long time ago in the comments and I was telling them I haven't had that issue yet. Well, I've had it now and it's happened one time, but it hasn't happened since. And it's strange. I don't know what was going on that day, but um, I had never gotten that issue and I had shot with this phone for 30 minutes. No heating issues in that particular day. It decided that it wanted to shut off. I have no idea why, but I immediately let it cool down. And within five minutes, I was back up and running. But that's not something that has happened to me on the norm, like with my original Sony Xperia 1. It couldn't make it five to 10 minutes and it was a wrap. So with this one, I'm able to get 30 minutes or more in video uh, and it flows right along. I, that particular day, it decided to overheat. I don't know what was going on with it. But to me, folks, this is the ultimate vlogging setup. Uh, and I don't think it gets any better than this when it comes to a smartphone. Um, this is actually a smartphone because it's a camera with phone capabilities that's extremely advanced when, when in comparison to other phones out there. Most other phones are using a lot of AI and they're using a lot of things you don't get to control. Like, like the phone I'm recording with, the iPhone 13 Pro, It's it, I just have it on video. And, and, and that's all that I can shoot, obviously, Pro Raw and things like that. But... For most people, this is going to be what they re they're really looking for. So, this is a pro level phone. You know, I have the iPhone 13 Pro, but there's nothing pro about it. Uh, but it gives off good quality footage, as you can see. But this is an actual pro phone, and it might be intimidating to the people who say they really are professionals, because you have to really dig in and get the meat of the device going to get the stellar footage and quality from photos and video. So. Um, the last couple of weeks with this have been phenomenal. I don't see it getting any worse or any, uh, I don't see anything pretty much going wrong, I guess I would say, or I don't see anything bad happening down the line. But if it does happen, I will report back to you and I will definitely give you the skinny on it because I'm not one to sugarcoat. So right now, this phone is still in the 95 to 100% range for me as far as quality and, and value to consumer if you're that type of person. If you consider yourself a professional, videographer photographer give this one a try i mean and if you're a novice and, you, and you're a person who's wanting a this, i think this is like the ultimate setup for creators for uh youtube as well this is a great youtube setup right here it just it's it's really nice and investing that one time into this um you know doing do a trading with your old phone or something because 1099 folks is a lot of money let's be clear here and so the original cost on this was 1799 so you can imagine how how that sat with a lot of people like, ooh, I love you, Sony, but man, that's that's steep. Because I think the phone people were trying to look at this device and not camera people. So, uh, and ironically enough, Sony has like the ZV-1 and all these different uh, cameras, and they just launched the ZV-E1, or I think it's called, the, the full frame version. That thing is 2,500 bucks, folks. And so, ooh, ouch. Uh, yeah, I'll try to bring it in, but ouch, that's 2,500 bucks. I, I, I have 2,500 bucks, but I also have a very good vlogging setup already with my current Sony setup, which is this A6100 with the also famous Sigma lens I've had for years. And so I don't think many things are beating that. So Sony's 
definitely going to compete in the vlogging sector but this for people who need a phone and just one-stop solution this is probably going to be one of the better versions of that now i know you have like the z fold uh, the z flip lineup and all those they have the you know external monitors basically but i think the the, the stiffest competition as far as that goes is going to be those two phones the z flip 4 or the z fold 4. now the z fold 4 pretty much has the same it uses uh this portion of the screen and turns it into a vlogging monitor but obviously you can see the compromise here this is wide and so i had to buy a wide mount for this but it's still doable but in the same token this costs a lot just like this one phone cost a lot so basically what they've done is they've given you the all-in-one in this device they it's minus they've given you all of this without the tripod so that's that's another thing sony could think of doing making a flip phone i think that would be great but for now I don't think Sony's going that route. Bring another version of this Sony with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, give it some more RAM, uh, give it a beefier battery, and improve on the controls of this device, and you have got a winner. And definitely lower the price. It's your man Jay, hope you guys enjoyed. The Sony Xperia Pro I, this is a serious win for a lot of people. You just have to dig in and give it a try. Links down below. I think Best Buy is still offering this free setup right here. All of this for $10.99 on this side over here. This is $10.99. I think that's a, that's that's just a killer deal. For, for the people who are looking at this device, why not get it from Best Buy and get this free monitor with it? So it's your man, Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, and I will see you in the next one. How did the iPhone 13 Pro do? It's got that Pro label. Shooting, shooting a, a pro phone with a pro-labeled phone. Take care.